In this video, we are going to look at how to identify a continuous, discontinuous, and removable discontinuous limit. The limit of a function is said to be continuous when the value of x in substitution to equation is defined, while the limit of a function is said to be discontinuous when the value of x in substitution to a question is undefined. The limit of a function is said to be removable discontinuous when the value of x in substitution to a question is zero. Now having known these basic definitions, let's look at the example we have under this slide and solve it together. So after solving, our answer will help us to know whether this is a continuous or discontinuous or removable discontinuous limit. So let's solve this together. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is to use this value of s, which is square root of 5. So I'm going to use it to evaluate this expression. That when you, you store the value of x square root of 5, to substitute this x square here, and use it to evaluate this expression, the answer we get after our evaluation will tell us whether this is a continuous or discontinuous or remove every discontinuous limit. Okay, so let's go. Before I do or perform any calculation on this calculator, always make sure that you clear your calculator. The essence of clearly this calculator is to avoid unnecessary error because you might not remember whether you have stored a previous value in this calculator before. So to clear your doubts, if you're not sure, to clear your doubts, make sure you clear the calculator whenever you want it to use it to perform a new calculation. Just make sure you clear the calculator to avoid unnecessary error, right? Okay, so to clear the calculator, what we do is to press shift button 9, clear, follow the instruction, we want to clear all, so we press 3, and follow the instruction, equal to yes, and press equal to again. The calculator has been cleared. So now let's go on and talk square root of 5 as x in this calculator. So we go, we start by pressing square root of 5. Then to store it, you press shift store x. So this arrow sign indicates that this value, square root of 5, has been stored at x in this calculator. So we wipe it and impute the question as it is appearing here in the calculator. So it's in fraction. We use this button. So we have 3 all over x squared. Now to bring on x, if you just press x, it will not come out. Uh, unless you press alpha first and this button x, it will come out. So we have x square minus 5. So this is what we have in the question. So let's press record and see what we get as an answer. So we have mass error. So this tells us that this is a discontinuous limit. From our definition, a limit is said to be discontinuous when the value of x 
in substitution to a question is undefined. Now this is a, this mass error is an undefined value. So you see this continuous limit. And didn't we did this and got a definite value like two three one five five point two six point seven in that succession as the case may be this would have been a continuous limit and even we did it and got zero just zero no point to the zero just zero this would have been a removable discontinuous limit but since we did it uh we didn't get a definite value neither did we get zero this is a discontinuous limit right so this is basically how you can know when a limit is continuous or discontinuous or removable discontinuous is as simple as that right so that's it for this class i believe i explained this topic very well so if you are new to our channel and you are not yet subscribed to our channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel for more of our videos. Also, like, share and comment on this video, right? Comment on this video, tell me how you feel about what you have learned in this class. If you seem to have a specific question regarding what I have just taught in this class, Feel free to leave your question at the comment section below. I will ensure to give you a response. I also encourage you to check out for my videos on limits at infinity and also how to solve limits with Casio calculator. Now, when a limit is turning to a real number, how to solve it with Calculator in seconds. So I'm going to leave their links in the description of this particular video. So check the description of this video below. I'm going to see the links to my videos on limits at infinity and also how to solve limits. Turn it your way number with Calculator calculator in seconds. Make sure you watch those videos. They're going to learn a lot. I did a nice explanation at uh, them so that's it for this class thanks guys for watching this video